right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And I hope you guys are having a happy and safe New Year's on this New Year's Day 2024. Um, and this is my WWE Raw Day 1 recap. Uh, this is my second video of 2024. Many, 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 many more videos to come this year. Uh, and this is just the first two of many. I told you guys I was going to do my best to do more for you. And starting today, uh, I'm already getting, you know, some videos pumped out for you guys. So, uh, match number one was Becky Lynch versus Nia Jax, scheduled for one fall. It went back and forth only for a little bit. And then uh, Nia Jax, uh, Becky was jumping off the rope to... Hit her and Nia punched her, uppercut her in the jaw. Becky was all bloody and shit, and Nia Jackson won the match. Then they had their Shin, shits, Shinsuke Nakamura uh, segment, and then the Nightmare Cody Rhodes segment. And uh, then they had uh, Kofi Kingston and Jey Uso versus, versus Imperium. Scheduled for one fall. Something happened in that match when they went to a commercial. They come back. They had the doctor in there. The ref stopped the match. And uh, Kofi Kingston and Jey Uso were declared the winners. And then you had Miz TV with special guest The Judgment Day. Uh, and then you had The Miz and Our truth versus The Judgment Day. Scheduled for one fall. And the winners, The Miz and Our truth Our truth is, is so funny. uh, uh you got to love Ron Killings. I mean, that, that guy, he's so funny. He is. Uh, he cracks me up. He's, he's one of my favorites. Uh, he cracks me up every time he's out there. And uh, I don't know why they don't use him more, but uh, they should. They used to. And then uh, in the fourth match on the card uh, was uh, Ivy, Ivy Nile versus Rhea Ripley for the WWE Raw. Women, or not Raw, for the WWE Women's World Heavyweight Championship. Well, y'all know uh, how that uh, turned out. Rhea Ripley, of course, uh, was your winner. And still, the Women's World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, and then, they had the return of a former WWE Champion. Uh, um, the modern day Maharasha, um, Jinder Mahal, and he started talking all his shit about America and politics and everything, and then, uh, they said there was going to be re a return of a former WWE champion, and Jinder Mahal is a former WWE champion, but he's not the one people wanted or expected, but... A WWE champion did interrupt Jinder Mahal because he was putting down America and talking about their American politics and stuff. I'm going to show you who came. So Jinder Mahal started singing the American National Anthem in, in Punjabi. And he said that the American people were stupid and shit because they booed their own National Anthem because he sang it in Punjabi. Punjabi, he goes there. He goes, you people just booed your own national anthem in Punjabi. He said, so congratulations. And one person had enough of that and put an end to the modern day Maharaja. That's right. The Rock came out and put an end to the modern day Maharaja uh, and dropped the people's elbow, and uh, The Rock, he didn't wrestle, he just came back for a little TV time and a segment with the modern day Maharasha. But that was all good. Next week, we will have the return of CM Punk. Oh yeah, uh, I said in my recap, I would figure out where they were tonight. They were in San Diego, California uh, for the first Raw of 2024. Uh, match number five, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark versus Natalia and Tegan Knox, scheduled for one fall. 
And your winners, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. And uh, the the sixth match, the main event, was actually a pretty good match. Uh, I that one was the one I kind of uh was getting, you know, this raw was hyped up for. Uh, was the uh WWE Raw Day One main event uh for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins defended against Drew McIntyre. And then uh, um, Judgment Day came out and uh, Damian Priest was going to cash in his money in the bank. But Drew McIntyre spoiled that, beat up the Judgment Day. Uh, and then Seth Rollins ended up winning the match. And is still your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So... Uh, it was an excellent, excellent show. I, I, some of the matches, you know, the the one, uh, some of the uh segments they had in between were kind of boring and blah. But they don't have as much talking anymore. They don't have as as much uh, uh, beating people up in the back and stuff as they used to. Um, and they don't have m many uh, they don't have as much commercials. They'll they'll do like the picture and picture when they do. A, a uh, certain amount of commercials, uh, they'll do picture and picture, so you still get to see the show in one corner, and they do the commercial in the other corner. So that's pretty good. When they don't stop for commercials, they do. They'll just wrestle through, and they'll still show it, and then they'll do their commercials on. The, so I kind of like that. So you're still seeing the actual match and the commercial at the same time. It is a pain, but you know what are you gonna do? Uh, but all in all, I give this show an 8 out of 10. Um, tomorrow, I won't be able to watch because I'll be working. But tomorrow is NXT, or NXT uh, New Year's Evil. So uh, that's going to be a good one. And then on Friday, WWE SmackDown New Year's Revolution. Uh, I can't wait for that. That's good. That They're hyping that up to be a good show too. So... Uh, that should be a pretty good show. But, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, are having a happy and safe, uh, happy new year. You know, uh, my wife made me a, a nice meal uh, for for the new years. And, uh, uh, of course, I got my animals and stuff with me. And uh, also, stay tuned for my Miami Heat at Los Angeles Lakers preview, uh, and of course, my Buffalo Sabres at Montreal Canadiens uh, preview. Uh, the Lakers got to do something. The Sabres got to do something. The Heat come in at 19 and 13. The Los Angeles Lakers come in at 17 and 17. Um, we we got to do something. Uh, got to make a trade or something. But anyways, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. If you're a WWE fan, tell me uh, what you thought of tonight's WWE Raw Day 1. Uh, and tell me which program uh, you are excited about upcoming on January 27th. We got the Royal Rumble. Uh, I can't wait for that. That should be good as well. Uh... But next week is the return of CM Punk. So uh, that should be good. I'm sure he's going to be feuding with the world heavyweight champion, um, um, Seth Rollins. So uh, have a good night, guys. Happy New Year. And uh, stay safe. And uh, again, comment. If you're a WWE fan, tell me who your favorite wrestler is. Tell me what WWE show you're uh, looking forward to this upcoming year. And uh, I personally am looking forward to the Royal Rumble. Uh, and there's a couple more pay-per-views I like. Uh, WrestleMania, of course, is always, you know, a big, big show uh, that you get excited for. But the Royal Rumble, the Survivor Series, of course, uh, is one. And uh, SummerSlam. SummerSlam is another one. But uh, January 27th, the Royal Rumble. I can't wait for that. Anyways, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Happy New Year.